Heidi Ho there, friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we're gonna to make a modification to our stump grinder, okay? Our Power King stump grinder. Bring the camera right down here in this general area here. Guys from the factory, they give you this little kickstand, I like to call it, that you can put this little pin in to bring this thing up, to, up off the ground to where it doesn't rest on the teeth. We got a two before underneath there right now. Or you can put it in operating position where you bring it up like so, like that. Now, this, it's a great little thing, but I'm trying to make an improvement on that. What I wanna do is actually put a wheel out here, okay? So what I've done, I've went down to um, Tractor Supply, bought a few things here, and I'm gonna try to uh, engineer some sort of bracket system here to where I can put this wheel on here, on this little axle that I'm gonna make. And I want the wheel to ride out here about parallel with the other one. And I think it's gonna make this thing a heck of a lot easier to maneuver around and to actually push up a set of ramps into our pickup truck when we're hauling it around. So stay tuned guys, and we'll show you how we do this. Folks, the first thing we're gonna do is take this bracket off of here, and I'm gonna go in through this way. It's got two 13 millimeter headed nuts holding this on. I'm gonna remove all that and take this off of the, v off of the uh, not the vehicle, but the uh, stop grinder. So give me a minute while I get this done. Okay, with the two nuts removed and the washers and lock washers, we'll go ahead and pull this piece out of the way for now. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we got a piece of like two inch uh, angle iron here. Now I'm gonna cut me off a piece about three inches long. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, folks, what we've done here, we're back here on day two. Yesterday, we actually cut this piece of angle iron, went ahead and went right into the factory bolts here, uh, up here at the top. We drilled a hole here, bolted it there, and then we re-drilled another hole uh, further apart uh, through the angle iron and through the factory frame here, okay? So we've got this piece here securely bolted down. Here's our wheel with an angle bracket uh, that we got down at my dad's house. He had these brackets here. Don't know exactly what they're for, but they work good for what we're doing. It's just a 90 degree bracket. Looks like it's made out of about 3 sixteenths of an inch thick material. And uh, we've ran our axle, our 5 eighths bolt through here. We have a spacer and of course a locking nut on this side. And what we're gonna do is drill a hole now into the bracket. Okay, actually we're gonna set it up just like this. We're gonna drill a hole and we're gonna put a stop over here on this end here where it keeps the tire going straight. And we'll probably put one on the other side as well. So that's what we're gonna work on here for a little bit. And then we're gonna get the welder out and we're gonna weld uh, this bolt or this axle to this bracket. We'll clean all this, uh, um, uh, I can't think of what the heck you call this stuff now, this gold anodized stuff off of here. That's what I'm thinking of. We'll clean that up. We'll weld this bolt on here really good. And uh, and then we'll also, as soon as we drill this hole through here, we'll run a bolt up here, probably a half inch bolt, and we'll weld it on the bottom side too. We'll take this bracket off to do all that. And then we'll um, actually probably put a coat of paint on it before we're done. So stay tuned guys, and we're gonna get all this done. Okay, folks, we're gonna go ahead and make a couple welds here. As you can see, I've ground off all the um, anodized uh, material on this bracket and around the head of the bolt. So we're gonna sit this down here, just hold it down there nice and square. And we're gonna tack weld the nut onto the bracket. And then we have this spacer here, and I've already made a mark exactly where I want that to be. So we're gonna go ahead and weld it, put a couple tacks on this side of it, okay? This side we wanna leave nice and uh, just like it is so the wheel spins around there nice and freely. So we're gonna go ahead and um, clamp this down and go ahead and make these two welds. Okay guys, we got a good little weld on each side of the bolt there. And we also put a nice little weld on each side of our spacer. 
And I'm just gonna take some cold water. We'll cool this thing off real good. And then we'll go back over there and we'll take our sander and just kind of sand up any uh, flashing that got where it didn't need to be. So stay tuned. Okay guys, before we get too much further along, I want to kind of show you where we're at right now. Um, we've got the spindle on here. We drilled a hole through the bottom, our bottom piece of our angle iron here, half inch diameter. And we got a half inch bolt coming up through the bottom, half inch nut. We squared it up. We got the wheel aligned like we like it. Now these pieces here are just sitting here. I cut these pieces out of a piece of um, 3 16 of an inch flat bar. I just cut me a little piece off each one. And what we're gonna do here in a minute is uh, get the welder and we're gonna lay us a little bead here on the outside, just a little bead right here. And this will actually help it. So every time we go to put this on here, we'll be putting it on dead aligned like we want it, okay? And, and then we're gonna take this whole piece off of here, flip it upside down. We're gonna weld our bolt underneath here where my finger is. We're gonna nail the, uh, weld the the head of the bolt to this piece of angle iron. So it'll be welded there. And then we'll probably clean this whole piece up, sand it real good and shoot a coat of paint on it. Uh, but just to show you right quick, this is what it's gonna look like with the tire on. Um, and we'll put a locking, uh, nylon locking nut on here. And so, and this'll, this'll be how we roll it around from now on. And when we get ready to operate it, we'll just simply take our nut off of here and it's funny because I found these old sockets here in my toolbox where I had welded a couple of sockets together a long time ago, I think, to do some plumbing work. And uh, one side happens to be a three-quarter. And I was thinking about either welding uh, this actually to the nut and then put me a little T-handle, weld me a little piece of bar across here where I can just tighten it up by hand and keeping this tool with the um, stump grinder, maybe even find a place to mount it on here somehow or another. And so this tool will always be here to where we can just tighten it up when we're ready to go. <coughs> we won't have to carry any special tools with us. So uh, that's another thing we're gonna work on here in a little bit is a tool to actually pull the nut on and off. So for guys, stay tuned with us. We're gonna go ahead and uh, tack weld these pieces in place and then we're gonna take it off and clean it up. Okay, folks, here is the final product. We have all our pieces welded. We got these little ears here that I welded on with it still bolted to the machine. I unbolted it. We flipped it over. We welded that uh, head of that bolt in place to our thing uh, or to the piece of angle iron. We're gonna take our uh, angle die grinder with a sanding disc on there and we're gonna clean this thing up. I'm gonna knock off the slag and I'm also gonna let Nathaniel uh, work on it a little bit too to give him something to do. And we got a can of paint, I found a can of black paint, just some wheel paint here. We're gonna let Nathaniel enjoy painting this today. And we'll get it together for you shortly and show you what it looks like. Folks, Nathaniel's putting a little paint on here for us. We're just gonna paint it glossy black and put this sucker together. Stay tuned. Okay guys, one last thing I think we're gonna do, we're gonna make a tool custom made for taking this thing on and off. Like I showed you, we got these two sockets that we welded together years ago. I'm going to grind those welds up a little bit nicer than that. I think what I'm going to do is take this ratchet. It's on some cheap, cheap ratchet. I don't even know where the heck that come from. But I'm going to hook it on here and see if I can do this one-handed. I'm going to weld it to this thing, okay? And cut this handle off too because I'm going to have to cut it off to where it can just spin all the way on and off of our thing over there. So that's gonna be the tool we make, okay? 
and then we'll try to figure out a cool way of attaching it to the stump grinder. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start bolting this back in place. So let's put our main little bracket on here that we fabricated. We're gonna take the two nuts here. And we're going to go ahead and attach them as well. And then we will zip it down with our cordless here. We got a 14 millimeter head on the inside here. This is a 13. There we go. See if we can get it on the other one. All right, guys. So there we go. These are tight. Let's go ahead and put our other piece on. Okay, folks. Hey, brackets in place here. Now we have already put our wheel onto our axle here. And we have our nylon locking nut here, so it should never back off. So we got that adjusted. That turns nice and freely. Let's go ahead and hook this thing up now. So here we go. And we're gonna drop that in place, just like so. And put our nut in place. I'm loving this thing. This is gonna be awesome. And then we'll take our tool here that we kind of fabbed up. I showed you, we welded that on there. We're gonna polish it up here and put a coat of paint on it here in a little bit. I was gonna cut this end off. I think I'm just gonna leave it like it is now. I think I'm okay with it. And we'll try to figure out a cool place to mount it maybe on the on the um, stump grinder at some point. All right. All right, guys, there you go. That's our little wheel that we've added to it. That does make it a lot easier um, pushing around. Um, instead of having to hold down, bring the camera up here. Instead of having to hold down and push, you can just put all your effort toward pushing in case you find yourself in some tall grass or anything like that. So I'm kind of happy with it. We're gonna see how that works for a while. And uh, so guys, a little modification that we made to our Power King Stump Grinder. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care.